Welcome Christmas Eve. <laughs> Rose is all festive with his Christmas outfit. Mommy's all Mama's looking good. Ready? Mrs. Claus. Ho, ho, ho. ho. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Christmas Eve. Uh, we're going to start cooking. We've kind of been cooking yeah. all day. Right? Yeah, we've been cooking. Uh, I did sneak in a workout this morning, uh, well, but well, now uh, we got to get into the heart of it. We did some prepping, did a couple things uh, to get rocking and rolling, but now we're ready to get into the crux of it. Uh, my dad, Johnny P, is going to be over. I'll have to pick him up in about two, two and a half hours. Uh, but Rose is ready. You say hi to everyone, Rose? Hello. What's oh, a no look? <laughs> oh, she's looking right here. That's why she's looking at the iPad. Uh, so yeah, let's get rocking and rolling here. Uh, we are gonna make stuffed cabbage leaves. We had the uh, cabbage leaf fiasco yesterday, but I made some beautiful um, par-cooked risotto rice here with some good seasoning. Desi's gonna wrap the cabbage leaves. We'll boil them. We're gonna make the baba ganoush with the roasted peppers and the uh, eggplant. Toasted some of Grandma Donnie's walnuts here, along with some uh, garlic. And then Dusty's gonna make a paleo bread, or paleo pitka. We'll put the coin inside right there. Yeah, lots of, lots of things. And what else are we doing? Oh, Dusty's gonna make Christmas uh, cookies. Uh, the Flavor Christmas cookie recipe yeah. that's uh, gluten free. And. No, I just have to take this cabbage out of Yeah, here. probably something else too. But we'll figure it out. We're gonna hang out, have a good time. Remember, it's an Eastern Orthodox uh, Christmas Eve, meaning it's 100% plant based. Uh, you do the meat on Christmas Day. Uh, you do the uh, all the veggies and vegan stuff Christmas Eve. And if you go to my Flav City Instagram story, uh, Desi's mom, Donnie, who's actually on FaceTime here, we can say hi if you want. Oh, look at the list how they come. Oh, beautiful. Here. She made a beautiful. Donnie, say hello to everyone. Everyone say hi to Donnie. Studevete, everyone. This is Donnie in Bulgaria here. Here she is. Her table is amazing. Go to my Instagram story. She made a feast, and even though it's just the two of them, Donnie and uh, Nacho, her husband, uh, they wanted to go all out because it's good luck and prosperity and all that jazz. So that's what's going on, y'all. Much easier to pull those. Uh... Oh my God. Yeah, so whoever said to boil the cabbage first, thank you, because I not only boiled it, I just left it in the pickling liquid all night long and uh, made it even softer, probably infused a little acidic flavor in there. Yeah. We got the keto wine. Gonna pop that in a few. Yeah, it's really cold yeah. today. It's 19 degrees. I can feel the cold air on my feet. And uh, I did get a morning workout in, but it's cold. You need a Le Creuset, baby. Oh, look, yes. Le Creuset for Desi. Indiana's here. Boca's here. Nice. My future neighbor there. Uh, Ohio's in the house. Yeah, it's really cold, right? Amber Stover's here. Rose looks adorable. Yes, she just put her. Uh, flannels on. Uh, so guys, leave comments down below. We'll be on for a while. Very casy. Uh, Art's doing a thing with his uh, family today. But uh, leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day tomorrow. All that good stuff. Look at their eyes. Look at their eyes. Look at their eyes. Move it over here. Are we going to stuff now the peppers with the rice? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really, really fun. Here, I'm just separating some leaves here. Look how beautiful the leaves came out of um, the cabbage. So yesterday we just put the whole cabbage inside a pot with uh, some hot liquid, and I think I put some vinegar to kind of pickle a little bit. And uh, cabbages are turning out great. I typically, we typically do that in Bulgaria with uh, sauerkraut leaves. But it's very hard to find those here in the States. Yeah, why is it so hard? Even if you, you have to go to like a, a Polish store or a Bulgarian store, and even if you do find them, it's a hit or miss. The leaves might be not very good quality, maybe hard or too thin, and, and uh, they tear easily. So hey, actually, this works out. This is how I'm going to keep well, doing Well, thank you it. for everyone yesterday telling us. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, one girl from what? Serbia or something? Serbia or Poland, yeah. Is this the uh, round and wide one? I thought I had another one. Yeah, you had another no. wide one. I don't know. Yeah, we have three Le Crusades, but obviously our place is so overpacked now we don't we know where they find are. Anything. But my favorite Le Crusade is actually <laughs> the round wide one. 
This is the traditional seven a on a half quart here that I'll show you guys. It's beautiful butter, right now. Uh, bean stew. We got I don't know if you can see dates. it. But... You want some dates? Right. This one here yeah. seems to be maybe the, some dates? the nine and a half quart. This one's dates. huge. Yeah, I love my luck. Chris says yeah. this one is. Oh, this one's seven and a quarter quart. Uh, this works. It, this good. works, right? It works. But I couldn't find it in my closet, of course. Uh, there's one called the round wide one, or uh, wide and round. It's awesome, but they kind of discontinued it, so I don't know if it's available. Am I uh, just rinsing the top? Give it a rinse, sure. This was in the closet of our bedroom, <laughs> underneath my shirt, which is why we're moving. All right. So on the bottom, I'm just gonna put some of the uh, some of the leaves that are not very usable for wrapping. Some cushion. Cushion, yeah. You know what to say about more cushion. Better sarnichki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe in a little bit, Donnie can show her table again. Oh, yeah. Donnie went all out. She made all the classics, which hopefully she'll be uh, here for next Christmas at our new house in Florida, and she'll make a traditional. Bulgarian wow. feast, and then oh, day nice. of Christmas, I can do the prime rib yeah. and all that stuff, right? I don't even know what we're making tomorrow. We're not really doing anything. I mean, typically we're so exhausted from Christmas Eve. You don't I wanted to, to get another pasture-raised uh, turkey, but All Grass Farms was sold out. See, that would be nice, you know? Well, I got two turkeys and I gave Art one, so I should've... Like, Art, I need that back. <laughs> I need that turkey back, Art. Or we could've just crashed his, uh, his party. Sorry, Art. Okay, now I'm gonna start wrapping. We're um, sequestering your turkey. I put my slippers on, man. It's freaking cold in here tonight. Yeah, it is. What, 20 degrees outside? Yeah, 19. Yesterday was 50, today's 19. Cold. But in less than 30 days, we'll be in sunny Florida. A rental home is not in Boca, actually. It's in one town south uh, called Pompano Beach, but it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Are you having a date? Uh, you know what? We're all about dates. Laird has new dates out right now, and uh, we've been eating a date a day, and it's just so tasty. Cindy Moore, $5 holler. Thank you, Cindy. Merry Christmas to everyone. Bears playoffs. The Bears stink. I don't even care about the Bears. I don't even care about football right now at all. I'm just kind of like not watching any sports. I got so much stuff going on. Merry Christmas, Darla's making smoked turkey, stuffing corn casserole, mashed sweet potatoes, hot chocolate peppermint cake. Dang, Whoa, Darla, that sounds, sounds great, amazing. right? And you have time for to watch a live stream? No, yeah, right? For you. Susanna's getting ready to go to the river. A van down by the river? Drew, $5. Hi guys, checking in from Woodstock, Illinois. Yeah. Watching your live stream has been Bubble. immensely helpful during this year. Love all the Seinfeld reference. Thank you, Drew and Rhonda W, $5. Got the tea and signed cookbook. Tea is delicious. Thank you, Rhonda. Appreciate that. Amber got the new cookbook. Thank you. I'm seeing a lot of messages, actually, that say, like, finding Flave City was the best thing that happened in 2020. So that's really, really nice. I know it's been a tough year, but... Uh, we've grown the community a lot this year, and we tried to bring you guys a lot of value and all that good stuff. Yes, so. I'm working on these um, sarmichki <laughs> Oh, Ash is making homemade tamales tonight. That's Ooh. right, because you're in uh, Texas, right? Oh, yeah, that's what they make. What can I do, my dear? Uh, start on the... the baba? The baba ganoush. Baba. Look, Rosie, put my We're wrapping the, we're wrapping the sarmichki mamu. Look. Like turning out really Snowman nice. cookie cutter. <laughs> yeah, uh, leave it on you. So I'm gonna make the baba ganoush. Uh, yesterday, you remember on live stream, we roasted the red peppers and the skin came off so easily. I actually left them in the bowl covered yeah. in um, saran wrap overnight. The skin came off of all my organic red peppers. You really wanna get organic peppers because they're very dirty on the dirty dozen. And then the skin came off of the whole melanzane the uh, eggplant here. I took the seeds out of the uh, eggplant and then Desi specifically told me do not put the juice, right? Do not put the juice. If I want that to get If I was here right now, what would he say? You don't like the juice? Juice is good, huh? 
Yeah, and I guess the juice for this would probably make it a little too watery. I like us. the juice when it comes to uh, oh, to, to what? To uh, to sauerkraut juice, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually put a little bit of uh, sauerkraut juice in there when it boils if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we'll put that over here. Uh, and then for the baba, we'll do tahini, of course. I got here. I roasted some walnuts just this morning. Baba. Santa, yeah, baba. Baba walnuts came in the mail. Mm -hmm. uh, grandma and uh, grandpa. Baba have a walnut tree in their yard and they shell all the walnuts for us and they send them. Here are the roasted ones. Here's the roasted one. A roasted one for a roasty. And they're delicious. They're unlike any walnut you got here. So we'll put some of the walnuts in here. We'll put garlic. So I actually roasted the garlic in their skin so they don't burn but they get nice and soft. And you actually caramelize the sugar in them without having that raw flavor. See? You could eat it right now. It'd be delicious. Baba. More walnuts, Mama? More walnuts, my dear? Here you go. You can have as many walnuts as you want. Oh, good news also. Rose had a fantastic night's sleep last night. Uh, she did do a little crying at midnight, and I kind of freaked out, but then I picked up my phone and did the uh, nest, the ding dong, and I always do my, Rose, Daddy says go to sleep, and she went to sleep again till six o'clock in the morning or 6.15, brought her into our bed. She had some milk and she slept until about 7.45. She wasn't snoring in my ear. It was a Festivus miracle. Yeah, and I mean, she's doing great. She's feeling so much better today. Not cranky at all. She must have had a growth spurt. She must have. I mean, look at her. She's a big girl. Are you a big girl? Are you strong? Are you strong? Can you flex your bicep for daddy? Strong. Huh? Yeah. Strong girl. Yeah, you're putting the walnuts in the water, mama? Yeah. And Avi gets a shout out. Of course you can. Tia is grilling steaks. That sounds good, right? I do want to do a traditional like prime rib roast. I haven't done that in years. But next year in our dream kitchen, when the house is finished in September, October, give us plenty of time to get it ready. We'll make a prime rib roast, horseradish cream sauce. We'll do a proper Jewish dinner. We'll do brisket too for Hanukkah. We'll do a version of this. Baba Dami there. Grandma's going to build a garden in the yard next to the pool. We'll have all of our fix in there. It's going to be great. Where's Kara? Kara got a new job. That's a nurse. Kara was always going to get a nursing job. She found one and left us about six weeks ago. Now we have Tess, who's fantastic. Merry Christmas to you, no. Cindy. See what I'm stuck Are you sick of quinoa, in? Bobby? Yeah, I haven't had quinoa for breakfast now for over a month. I'm just tired of it. Quinoa has, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a nice complex carb, but I just had it too much. I wanted a break. I'm really enjoying the, the um, pasture raised eggs with the Kite Hill cream cheese, the Crofters low sugar organic spread, and a couple of. Um, Toasted uh, keto raisin breads from Base Culture for breakfast. I'd well, love to hear that, Avi. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, made, I used to make couscous in a lot, but that's a simple carbohydrate. It's um, it's wheat based, so not really my thing. Now, let's take stock what's in here peppers, eggplant, roasted garlic, roasted walnuts, big pinch of salt. Don't forget the lemon, Bebo. Yes, 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 ma'am. Parsley, dill. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, chef! And tahini. Of course, tahini. My favorite tahini from Walmart. Walmart? I have a big jug of extra virgin olive oil. This is the, this is the uh, Spanish single estate, E-B-O-O. What's the birthday? Mix, mix, mix. Rostina. Rosti. Oh, Rostina. I'm down on my knees. I'm begging the place to come home. Too bad Scotty P is not here. I know. So right. My brother Scotty P was supposed to be here, but what happened to him? He decided to go on a trip to Arizona. 
He did a road trip. Such a bummer. He was so much fun to have here for uh, Thanksgiving, as a lot of you guys know. But my dad will be here around 4.30ish. Johnny P. I'll give you, Mom. We're going to make cookies in a little bit. We're going to make the bread and the cookies. I'm going to give you some stuff. No more. Oh, I'm not nice. That's why I got one. Uh, I got one lemon yesterday. I think maybe that might be the one. Maybe. Good thing, Jen. I just emailed you, Jen. Oh, it's snowing out. Look. Oh, it's, oh, it's snowing, snowing outside. Five dollar Canadian. Merry what Christmas. Is here? Uh, thanks for finding out what happened yeah. to the cookbook I ordered. Also got my Way of Will hand lotion and honey. Good. I sent out all the cookbooks last week. Let's give uh, Rosie some, something to the do. ones. The one made it all the way to Israel, but Jen's from California, off to, uh, all the way to Canada. It never actually uh, left uh, Chicago. They didn't even scan it. Post office, man. It's so messed up. Some water. Water? Or here's your cup. Or do you want a little juice? Here. How about some immune juice, Rose? Right? Raise your hand if you got the, flavor, the uh, Costco uh, Suja immune juice. Love that stuff. It was funny because when I was there the other day, I ran into a, a few Flav City fans like I always do. And one guy, he lives on the south side, but he came to the north side to get the products I talked about. And he was getting the juice. He got the uh, keto, uh, it was keto crisps. It was pretty funny. Nice guy named Lo. Okay. Yes, my sweet, finished? There you go, thank you. Hi, let's wrap a few more. I have uh, literally a few more, doing and great. then we're gonna they're gonna do the bread. Yeah, gonna make the bread. Oh, nice! Abraham got the rated ghee T-shirt. Love it. Yeah, Rebecca. I mean, I, my immune tea is better than the Suja juice, but it's just a nice juice to have on hand. I cut it with half water to even minimize the sugar, which is low anyway. It's just nice to have if you want something flavored. Rostina loves it. Okay, so tahini, very important. Look at the way my tahini pours, right? It's oh, runny, it's loose, and pourable. Very important. If tahini is thick, that means it's the bottom of the barrel, and it's very bitter. I learned this in the old city of Jerusalem. And this guy's, uh, you can get it on Amazon or at uh, Walmart. Mighty Sesame makes really good tahini. I'm going to say I'm making too many sermiyam. Well, we you can't stop. Well, yeah, I want I leftovers. Stop. Leftovers for manana, right? Yeah. You want Sina. Some? We just talked about Sina yesterday. Sina is the German. Yes. Our, our Merry Christmas. I spent what some time teaching my parents about healthy eating. Thanks to you. Good movie to suggest for them. Food. Currently watching Rotten. Um, yeah, Rotten's great. Oh, I'm trying to think of the best. Uh, I should put a list of the best food documentaries. Um, let me get back the, the to The Magic it. Pill. Yeah, The Magic Pill is great. The something well, the soil or whatever. Kiss the ground is great. There's one that I don't like. They really over -drama dramatize everything. Uh, I think it's like what the hell? They make they make it seem like every if you eat any kind of meat or any animal products, you're gonna die and get cancer. Like 20% of it, I can maybe agree with, and they go off the deep end. It's like meat causes cancer, dairy causes cancer. It's like why would they do that? I think it's called what the hell. Like the guy with an annoying voice. What, what the wheat is good. Yeah, what the what's wheat, with what's wheat? with wheat is great. Um, a documentary called from Michael Pollan is really good. I believe it's called Earth, Wind, Fire, Water. But what the what the health is terrible. It's like that is fear mongering. They're making it seem like eating anything but plant plant, plant based, and you're screwed. Can you help Rose there for one? I, I have literally help one, for what? What, one more. Just what do we need, Rose? Can I hold you for a second? Whoa! Oh. Rostina. Jen H in Canada. Jesse, what, what is your wrapping the cabbage and can we have the recipe? We have the recipe actually. Yeah, we have one. Flav City. Search Flav City stuffed cabbage, cabbage rolls. Flavors. We did a video a long time ago for Oktoberfest and I was wearing a dundle. So what are you doing, Jesse? For it's, people uh, who... it's sauteed onions and carrots uh, and yeah. arborio rice uh, with some olive oil. And just add some summer savory. We add some smoked paprika and black pepper yeah. and salt. And you kind of par cook it at a little, just a little bit of water. The, the star cabbage leaves with 
pork are amazing oh, because we so use good. beer for that and we and use sour oh my God, it was amazing. So th those were unbelievable. Yeah, those were phenomenal. But yeah, for this one, we're using kind of fresh leaves here and just very traditional <laughs> Hungarian. Nice. Oh, we forgot <laughs> to put parsley and dill, babe. Come on, you are on duty for this, babe. You are on duty. You better put some stuff now in the, in the food. Yes, chef. <laughs> Okay, done, 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 done. Uh, Betty, I'll check your order. When they ship, it takes seven to ten days, and the post office is very, very uh, delayed. Betty, oh, let me let me just check Betty. Let me see. Let me type that in here and see if it comes up. I'll check Betty over here. Orders. Oh, okay, so I'm done wrapping the cabbage rolls. And I don't see the name Betty here. I right? will put a plate on top here to keep them submerged in water. And we'll throw in some. Just email me, Betty. FabiaFlavorCity.com. We'll throw in some parsley. Yeah, the stones. parsley, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, all those bouillons are really bad, Abraham. None are good, to be honest. Even like better than bouillon. Still has yeast extract in there, and I believe natural flavoring. None are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mama, mama, mama. Yeah, we gotta blend it up. Let's blend it up, mama. Let's blend it up. Oh, I gotta get the uh, the cord plugged in there. Yeah, I have to. Can I put you down for a sec? Mm -hmm. Whoa! One second, Rose. I gotta plug in the uh... Ray breathing nerdum. Five dollars. Merry Christmas, now mommies. Now put the plate on top. Got you turned on while my grass-fed prime rib sits in the oven. Yeah, baby. What would you say is the most overrated health food? Oh, that's a really good question. Okay. Oh, advice from Jessie's okay. mom there. Uh, goji berries are overrated and so overpriced. I hate very expensive yeah. stuff like that. Uh, what More else? Leaves. <laughs> More leaves. More leaves. See, that's in goji berries. What else is overrated? Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, good question. Uh, I have to think about that also. Okay, all done. <laughs> Laura says the best thing we've ever made is rose. I uh, agree a hundred and ten percent. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Love to hear that, Jana. Why is MSG yeast extract so bad? So MSG is basically designed to hijack your taste buds to make you crave more food, and it yeah. gives really bad chemical reactions in your body. MSG is really bad. The man-made one. Uh, yeast extract is a slightly safer version, but it makes you crave more food. And once again, it hijacks your taste buds to send messages to your brain to eat more of it. So foods without yeast extract won't taste as good. With yeast extract, with natural flavors, they taste better, crave worthy, and you keep coming back for more. When I bit into a Chick-fil-A sandwich for a video I did with um, Thomas DeLauer, I was like, wow, like, if you want to eat more? We looked up the ingredients and had MSG. Okay, Jesse, let's check this for seasoning here. The color is beautiful. It kind of looks like a uh, lutenitsa. Oh, yeah. It's a pepper spread. It's bland, but it's good. It needs salt, lemon juice. Mm. Wow, it's actually very nice, though. Salt, lemon juice. Salt and lemon juice. And maybe a touch more olive oil? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really good. Man. Salt. Oh, Rose wants to try it. Oh, you want to try too, Rusty? Here. Little chef, I almost forgot. Here you go, my sweet. Is it good? Tasty delight. You want some more? You can have as much as you want, Rusty. You know? No, you don't want any more right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You gotta give her something to eat. She's probably hungry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You are so quick. She, uh, mommy now waits all day to cook something. <laughs> da. As Triava got when he burrows her. Mommy now tells the, uh, tells the, uh, what's this called again? Um, what? What's this called? Oh, um. Uh, Baba Ganesh. Kyopu. Kyopu. Ah, Kyopila. Da. Tells the Kyopila ima nogu bukusna. Da. Da, da, oh, oh, um, Magda Nossi, uh, copper. Da. Dila, copper. I can't forget the fresh. What kind of thing are those? Da. Uh, and Da, da, chesan, da. I tahan, I tahan, da, 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 now with the uh, earth. Uh, no yogurt because we're doing uh, dairy free, but we could put dairy free yogurt in there. Do you want? Uh, no. I don't even know if we need no, it to be honest. Uh, nutritional yeast is good. Uh, that's vegan Parmesan. That's nothing you like yogurt? yeast extract. Oh, you want more of the red thing? Okay, Ooh, I'll give you. Ooh, doggy. Oh, that's let me good. Give you a bowl, Mama. Oh, I'll try that bit. Let's try it again, too. That's perfect. Mm. Let's give to Rodney. Mmm, delicious, man. The nice thing about this, it'll get better uh, in a few hours or overnight. Mmm. To death, no, Danny. To death, no. Wow. <laughs> Cindy, uh, no stocks right now. So, yeah, I think the stock market's very overvalued. I own barely any stocks right now. I'm a little nervous about the valuation, so I think the limited upside, mm -hmm. but the downside could be big. I got a look of the recipe. Okay, what's next, Mama? Uh, I gotta do the bread. <coughs> Mama, I have to say that he's going to check out the phone telephone. Should I transfer this to a book? No, I did not check. Say goodbye. Never on show. Bye, Everyone say bye to Donnie. Ciao, ciao. I gotta call my bro also. Ah, now we're calling Jesse's brother. He sent a bunch of calls. Oh, look. Oh, cool. Oh, oh my god, Yana cut her hair. Oh my god, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, so this is traditional bread, Bulgarian bread, you guys. Yeah, traditional bread. Uh, my brother uh, is celebrating with his family, so they made that. And what else? Here's the table. Some bread, some uh, beans stuffed in peppers, and some cabbage leaves. Beautiful. Some beautiful thing. <laughs> so <Mercy>. fun. <laughs> you gotta see this picture. We got Yana short and short. Oh my god, it's on it. Now, let's see. Let's see Mamu the bread. Where, where are you going? Shall we start on the bread, Mama? <laughs> Where are you going with the food, Mama? Put it in. Oh. We gotta start working on the bread. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Where's the bread? The salt is great. Do you know I love Celtic sea salt? I normally cook with the kosher salt, but I ordered a couple of these. It's called Flower of the Ocean, and it has a nice consistency like kosher. The flavor is just great. I just like something that is easy to pinch, which is why I never tell people to cook with fine salt. Because it, it flows through your fingers, and, and you can't pinch properly, and you end up... Oh, 
over seasoned food. So kosher refers to the size of the crystal. Um, this isn't kosher, but it's very similar. So you see what I mean? It's chunky without being too big. So if I pick it up, I can pinch. If you do that with fine salt, you go like this, and it just falls like that. Celtic sea salt is my favorite. And if you have the new cookbook, I'm talking about the essential pantry items you need. And um, okay, salt, down. oil, the stuff like that. And I say Celtic is the best, but any unrefined salt is fine too. I just don't love cooking with uh, pink salt that you have to grind like that because it's very hard to gauge how much is going on your food and you're either going to under season or over season it. Delicious, um, I also put, if you're looking for any last minute or any more holiday gifts here, the Amazon book, the new cookbook, Five Ingredients Semi Homemade Meals is there, best selling. Uh, and then my Amazon store, Desi's Amazon store, and then the keto wine here for a discounted on shipping. All good stuff down there for you. Bevo, can you just start a quarter cup of uh, flax seeds with some uh, half cup of water, please? Okay. Do we have ground flax? Yeah. It's in a, in a bowl there. So a quarter cup of flax seeds with... Half a cup of water. Hot water? No. no. So for Desi's paleo bread, we don't use any gluten. Well, Desi once in a while will grind up flax seeds. You can buy pre-ground, but it's better to do it yourself if you have a spice grinder. And um, that'll be kind of like the thickening agent of the bread. Quarter cup with some water. How much water? Right now? Half a cup. Half a cup. So quarter cup. Just put it in a, uh, put it, let it sit in the measuring cup. Because the measuring cup will be the vessel for itself. Oh, uh, okay. Quarter cup there and a half a cup of water, right? Am I right? Uh, the other way around because you can't measure half a cup now. You can't measure half a cup now. Because the stuff is in here? Yes. Did you just tell me to put it in there? Right, but you should have started with oh. the water. Here, how about let's just make it easy. Yeast is out. <laughs> yeast? Half a cup of water or something? Yeah, half a cup. Oh, yeast. <laughs> it looks like nutritional yeast, Viviana. Got me sidetracked there. And then we'll just let it bloom here. Blooming onion style. Okay. okay. Blast you, Rostina. Blast you. Okay. Okay. Can Desi make a Reese's peanut butter cup cheesecake that's healthy? You're dreaming there, Abraham. That's a tough one. It's it's not my thing. Uh, signed cookbooks are sold out now, Rebecca. I've got about 30 over there that are sold already that aren't signed last night, and I gotta sign them and get them out uh, Saturday when the post office opens back up. Alrighty. Eastern Orthodox plant-based Christmas Eve dinner is underway. If you're just joining, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're in Sweet Home Chicago for only another 20 some odd days and we're moving to Florida. Looking forward to change of scenery, watching our home being built, lots of fun stuff in 2021, being close to our good friends, everything Erica and her husband. So you guys got to send art DMs on Instagram and be like, you got to move bro, you got to move. Also, can you start the oven, Bevo? Start the oven. I want to say 425. For the bread? For four. Yes. Okay. It's not a big difference in terms yeah. of changing the temperature. Have yeah. you noticed the doors are back, right? We got a came this morning to put them back. If you want to buy our condo located in the heart of Boys Town, beautiful two bedroom condo with great features. Email bobby at flavecity.com, bobby at flavecity.com, cc support at flavecity.com, and put buy condo in the title. I don't want to use a broker to sell my place. Waste that commission. You gotta be some Flav City fan. Who wants to buy a great condo in Chicago, man? That's all I gotta say. Oh, yeah, let's put some stuff away here. 
Uh, we're moving because we want to change the scenery. We can't handle cold weather anymore, and I can't handle Chicago, Texas. But time to move. Watching from Wales. Nice, Chloe. Merry Christmas to you. Do you know any foods that improve strength? Yes, anti-inflammatory foods. Search Flav City Inflammation on YouTube. Inflammatory foods like refined sugar, gluten, uh, processed plant-based oils will make you weaker because your body's in a constant state of inflammation and your body is fighting that inflammation. We bought a condo in Florida as well. We're gonna move next year. Nice one, Elena. Yeah, we're building a nice five bedroom home in Boca down the street from our friend Erica. And while that's being built, we're renting uh, a home in uh, Papado Beach, just south of there. It's hard to find nice rental homes, but we actually found a good one with a pretty good kitchen that has a gas burning stove top, which is unheard of for South Florida. And um, a pool, three bedrooms. Desi's mom's coming from Bulgaria on January 19th. Hoping there's no lockdown, that would be horrible. But uh, yeah, keep hearing about this new strain of COVID. It's like, oh God. When are the cookbooks coming to Canada? You know what? There was a rumor that Costco Canada was interested, but I got to ask my publisher. But they can order online. Yeah, the best thing to do is just go on Amazon. I know some people don't like Amazon, but it's really good for books. And please, if you if you have bought the cookbook, which is just doing so well, I cannot believe it. I'm so happy. Um, please leave an Amazon review. The reviews really help with uh, search rankings on Amazon. Uh, I put the link down below if you haven't checked it out yet. Uh, five ingredient semi homemade meals with all of my shopping tips all throughout the book telling you how to buy the ingredients Then all the products for these easy healthy recipes. They're all there my friends. Please leave a review though They still have a tummy like last time I saw three four hundred reviews five stars like it's crazy man Totally crazy. You guys are so supportive huh. Florida's got Waldo's <laughs> Exactly. Jen H. in Canada. Jen, where in Canada are you again? Oh, I should know. I sent the book to you. Desi and Bobby, thank you so much for all you do. Uh, lost my mom on December 26th, so this weekend will be the first year without her. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Glad to have you all here. Makes me happy. I'll never stop watching. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. I think Jen is one of the people... How do I get this back in here? <laughs> Jen is one of the people who just found Flame City this year, and I'm super happy you did it. Bessie's laughing at me. Bessie's laughing at me. Ha ha. Look at the moron over there. I'll use press and seal. How about that? Adrian. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, Adrian. I'm not worried about it. I think the... Might be over dramatic. Over dramat dramatizing a little bit. It's not really dramatizing. Hope you have a good Christmas in... Germany. Rose is over there. She's uh, chilling with uh, Desi right now. Nice. Cara Beauty just found us a few hours ago. Right? Mm hmm. Los Angeles in the house. Yeah. And then they keep saying that the summers are so hot in uh, Florida that you have to escape in the summer. So we're like, okay. Well, we like the mountains too, so we're actually thinking about maybe the next home. We'll look in, Colorado's nice, but I really think Utah or Montana could be nice. Does anyone have any thoughts about uh, like a house in the Rockies that's like, not Aspen, I'm not gonna live there, but like under the radar, but really, really nice and underrated maybe. That's gonna be Colorado. Yeah, but like not like an Aspen profile. Like yeah. I don't wanna go to a place where everyone knows your name, you know? <laughs> but I still need to have some stores around. Like I know if you're in like Vail, there is a Costco and a Whole Foods very close by. I can't be in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Yeah, you need baking powder, Katie, for the for a cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Northern California here. Can you show us your immunity booster tea? Yes. It's sold out right now, but we should get some more very soon on shopflavecity.com. I should have put the link down there. So the actual tea is on my website. For free, right? Make the, the tea yourself. Search Flav City Immune Tea on the website or on Google. This is my first product. This is the powdered version of that. We look at the ingredients here. It's lemon, turmeric powder, monk fruit, ginger, cayenne, black pepper. Black pepper activates the turmeric, 
MCT oil helps your body absorb the turmeric. Lemon has vitamin C. Ginger is good for your tummy. All immune boosting, anti-inflammatory. Have this about four days a week. There's a scooper in there. It's 30 day supply for $30. It's my first product ever and it's doing very, very well. We're working on a keto lemonade for the summer, tweaking that recipe. And then Eric and I are working on some other ideas, maybe in the food space and maybe in the cookware space. And we have some really cool ideas that we're thinking outside the box, which is cool. <clears throat> That's at shopflavecity.com. Mm hmm What do you take for headaches? I actually don't get headaches, Ash. What would you do for a headache if someone got one? Any recommendations? Um, magnesium helps. Magnesium helps? That probably starts with a diet, to be honest, right? Yeah, you gotta see what, what kind of foods you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, do you drink a lot of coffee? Um, like, if someone gets chronic migraines, what do you believe is the root cause of that? Some sort of inflammation. Inflammation, yeah. Go for an anti-inflammatory diet, a keto diet, a, a low or no dairy keto diet could be your best experiment, I think, and then you tra transition over to paleo. Gen H, for anyone who has not made the tea from the website, it's very good, uh, or you can buy the one in the package. Yeah, I say, hey, listen, it's better to buy the, uh, to make the fresh one. Go on uh, Google, type Flav City Immune Tea. It's with fresh turmeric and ginger. It's a great tea, it makes a batch for like four servings, but not everyone wants to and can make it. The tea powder is a great second option. Yeah, I don't know too much about CBD. What's a good probiotic to use for digestive issues? You know what? I'm taking one now um, that is pretty next level. They want to work with me, but I have to test it, I have to test it first. Where is it here? Put that probiotic in here, I want to show you. Where's that um, little green probiotic bottle, babe? Do you know? It's called Seed. It's a very, very high quality probiotic. And it has two capsules. The first capsule comes off in your stomach, and then the secondary makes it all the way to your colon, so none of the living bacteria are damaged. No, I can't find Seed, it's called. No, what's the best of I just started taking it this week. Nah, I guess I can't take it anymore because. Somebody stole it. It's lost. I don't know. I guess he did some cleaning up for. I don't know where it is. No, it's too bad. Oh, a lot of people have migraines. Bone broth and ACV is a lifesaver. Yeah, for sure. Bone broth every single day, Adrian, is great for gut health. And um, ACV, raw apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon and four ounces of water. Have it first thing in the morning about four days a week. Fantastic. And that's easy, that's cheap, right? Oh, Ivo, Drove. Veseli Pravnici, Stita Kovira, Vichko. Ivichko! What's up, buddy? Sorry. How's it going? Yeah, for sure. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I got a full house there in London. I guess his brother's visiting family in London. They have like eight people in a two bedroom house. Let me get a dust pair. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor here. Uh oh. Yeah, Misha. Hey, babe, where's that prebiotic? You know that, that thing I have, the probiotic thing? Oh, it's the green thing? Yeah, it's in here. Uh -huh. I can't find it. The vacuum? You I want to keep cooking. What else do you have to do, babe? Here, I gotta start making the bread, babe. Yeah, start making some. Clevets. Are you getting the, the vacuum? The rose? vacuum? Uh, yeah, we don't need the vacuum right now. Not right now, Rose, but soon we'll need it for sure. Excuse me, guys, I'm doing the dustpan right now. There's like oh, sure. a bunch me. of food down Come there from Rostina. Mm -hmm. Rosie's helping with her uh, brush. Ah, Rose is breaking here. You can Swiffer here, Rose. Go for it. Rose has her baby Swiffer. I don't know if you guys can see. She has a Swiffer in. Yeah. What do you need? Hmm? Want me to move this? Is there something on the bottom? Is this Petrchu? 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 Petr
Nene, ne smeni, ne smeni. Ne znam što si uvijek mami, ne? How hard do you want to boil this, babe? It just came to boil. Oh, it just came to boil? Yeah. Okay, maybe we can put my uh, four in there. Whoa, that's not good for business. <laughs> yeah, you can do simmer or something. 40 minutes on the clock. Okay, uh, I gotta start making the bread. Okay, you make bread, I'm gonna tidy up a little bit. Can you, yeah, can you take care of it? Yeah, I just think you gotta have Rose help you. Ro Rose, you gotta help me, Mom. Hi. Hi, Nishushka, we gotta break some eggs. We got work to do. Work. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Let me clean we're this We're making an here. Eastern Orthodox vegan dinner. So we're making paleo bread, stuffed uh, uh, cabbage leaves, all that good stuff. Jen H again. Bobby, serious Q, I have neck and lower back pain. What should I take? Uh, I used to get needles from doctors with pain relievers and antiseptic, but can't anymore. So I need something else. Hmm. So Jen gets neck and lower back pain. Tell me what you eat, and I'll tell you more. Yeah, Jen, send me a, a detailed email, and De Desi will take a look. I mean, I think at that point, you guys start doing some really good core. Let's see the recipe. Let's core the workout, recipe. right? Not like the cabbage It says, core. let's see what it says. Free heat oven, 425. Yeah, I used to get a lot of lower back pain. Because These are the dry ingredients. My spine is actually very curved. I have what they call anterior pelvic, root pelvic tilt. Now I'm gonna bring. So, I I used to stand like this with my butt out because anterior pelvic tilt. And if you look at my my uh, spine, you see it's kind of curvy. So I had to train myself to actually suck it in like this, and I have no back pain anymore. Once in a while, I'll catch myself having pain. It's because I jut out like that. So you have to really train your muscles to come in like that, and uh, it's called anterior pelvic tilt. How much cilia mask? Spoon of salt. Yeah. No, I don't really take too many vitamins and whatnot, but I show you uh, during the Thrive Market live streams, which by the way, we're doing a breakfast with Bobby on Sunday with Thrive Market. Um, I take the vitamin C powder, the D, and the zinc every day. I take the uh, Laird Superfood Daily Greens every day. That stuff, stuff is amazing. This one. Have you guys ordered this yet? Uh, the new prebiotic daily greens? I'm taking this every Can single day. For me, Mama? Organic greens, prebiotics, and functional mushrooms. Amazing stuff. So I take that every day. This, the C, the D, the zinc, and now I'm taking the probiotic. That's all I take. I don't want to take more. I don't take a multivitamin. Mixing, mixing, mixing. I do have a multivitamin video in case you want one of the best ones. Okay, this is all, and teaspoon of baking soda. Merry all Christmas, y'all. Yeah, yoga's great. Absolutely, Katie, no doubt. Okay, yeah, so I do. A, I have a vitamin things. video uh, that came out right after New Year of this year for the and best vitamins now, for 2020. Now let's continue with the other ingredients. Yeah, we gotta beat the eggs. Cindy, you're so funny. We love Theo too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's uh, let's do the. Yeah, eggs. we got keto recipes. We got paleo recipes. Our first cookbook is keto meal prep, which just helps a lot of people who want to get on keto. With tons of meal prep options. Mm -hmm. uh, that's on Amazon too. It's still a bestseller on and off after you a year and a half. But the new cookbook is 100% paleo with some keto in there too. Five ingredients semi home meal, meal meals is for everyone. It's not just for keto, paleo, whatever. It's for everyone who wants to make healthy, easy meals with huge flavor using the best ingredients from the grocery store. Yeah, see, Katie, when you buy the greens powder like at Walmart, oh, see, if you watch me talk about it, almost there's a lot of good greens powders out there that have really good greens and fruits and whatnot, but or read the fine ingredient. They're always going to have natural flavors, Real. sunflower oil, uh, just unsavory things that I'm, I don't put in my body. This doesn't have any of it. The other, the other ingredients in this are just coconut water that's freeze-dried for a little bit of sweetness, Perfect. but natural sweetness. Another the prebiotics one? are not Here, from no, like no, no. Um, inulin one. and like what tapioca you? fiber. Right it's actually from like sweet potato flour and banana flour, one. real high quality prebiotics. Right, so right, gut right. health with greens, with functional mushrooms that are good for immune and for more. brain. It's a no brainer. Give me one more. Give me one more. Thank you, Jay Bagwell, $5 holler. Thank you. 
Do you get your bone broth from Thrive? One more. I need one more. Well, if we don't make it, I actually order it straight from uh, Kettle and Fire using my Flay City promo code. Uh, it's always 15% off, but once in a while we'll do flash one. sales of 30% off, and I think one is coming up for that. Perfect one. Thank you. Thank you, love. Uncle Farturo is not. He is with his, uh, his family. Mm hmm Working on it, Cindy. Working on it. Yeah, I just drink it straight, right? Sometimes I'll splash in a little bit of uh, vinegar or salt. No, don't need that. Or we use it for cooking all the time. Anytime it calls for broth or water, we use no, uh, no more eggs, no veggie more. stock. All right, I'm going to bring you guys over here so I can <laughs> all roast you. Oh, no. Have you guys been watching all of the Rose cooking videos on the Flav City Facebook page? All right, Rose? You have quite the fan club. I've never seen videos get more views in my life. Her, vi her videos, cooking with me or Desi, millions of views. My videos of me cooking at a grocery store. She's doing the old grandma oh, no. Maybe 100,000 views. Style. Maybe uh, 50. <laughs> she, she's you don't want to eat that, fierce. Eggs. It's crazy, you don't guys. Eat that. If you, and also on uh, Facebook, there's a Flay City community. It's got 40,000 members. It's just for fans only. I don't really go in there very often. Go in that too. Let's measure some butter now. Mm -hmm. Look, what are we? Cup of oh, butter. Oh, thank you, Katie. Uh, Jose, we're doing a traditional Eastern Orthodox uh, Christmas, which means it's 100% plant based. And I need to bring you guys over here so I can uh, mm -hmm. clean. I can clean while I cook. So I'm making my uh, take over, my uh, paleo bread. That's on the website. Just Google Play City Paleo Bread. And I typically make it with almond butter. But today I decided let's make it with cashew butter. It's not paleo, but it's gonna turn out delicious. And I'm gonna bake it in the oven in, the, in a round shape. So it becomes kind of like a round bread, which we can break. And that's traditionally in Bulgaria. The bread is a central, central dish in the, uh, on Christmas Eve. Wow. What are the essentials that are on every Bulgarian dinner table? Uh, on Christmas Eve? No, yeah, in general. Oh, in general? Yeah. Always a tomato cucumber salad with feta cheese yogurt because yogurt comes from Bulgaria if you look at any yogurt at the grocery store um, the one bacteria strain that's on there is Bulgaricus bacillicus which is the Bulgarian um, bacteria and you don't have a yogurt without it so yogurt comes from Bulgaria not from Greece and also uh, we always have beans beans are very traditional feta cheese feta cheese uh, if you go to a Bulgarian home, the thing, the first thing they're gonna make for you is a bean soup. Yeah. Bread is uh, always on the table, right? Yeah, kyfteta, like a kefta. Kefta, very traditional, made with pork. Uh, also, um, in roasted meat. We're not big on the seasoning in Bulgaria, not huge. Uh, we have a lot of um, things borrowed from other countries like Turkish cuisine, uh, like baklava and things like that. Here, eat. Oh, this one. We had a great tripe soup in Bulgaria, actually. Oh, tripe soup. Yeah. Very popular. We went to the uh, ski region of Bulgaria in the middle of winter. We had tripe soup at this old Mechanata, which is like an old school tavern. Yeah. So good. Red pepper spread is very, very traditional. Red pepper spread. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only knock on Bulgarian cuisine is that it's very carb heavy. They eat a lot of carbs and starches. And that's just I not... mean, I want to say that a lot of carbs and starches. You don't think so? I think it's dairy oriented, but it's, I, I want to say it's carb heavy. You wouldn't say it's carb heavy, really? You got something on the corner. A traditional know. Bulgarian. Cuisine, I don't think it's carb heavy. Well, yeah, we do have the bread, but that's very traditional for any um, those Eastern European countries and stuff. Yeah, true, true. So, oh, wine. Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas. All right, now we're gonna move the eggs. Yeah, where's the mixer? Yeah, put the, the keto mixer. wine promo link down below. 
Keto wine means no added sugar during the winemaking process and no chemicals. Fantastic stuff that won't give you a headache. This is uh, delicious with this uh, butter. Come on. I thought we were doing vegan. What? The butter? Almond, no, no, the uh, cashew butter. Oh, cashew butter. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, we even have a recipe for the paleo bread uh, on YouTube, guys. You can just Google that. Oh, yeah. Bye -bye. There's nothing special about Fiji water, Randy. That's in a plastic bottle, which I try to avoid. You're better off uh, drinking be Mountain nice. Valley Spring. Oh, oops. There is a shell. There is a shell. You still get the buzz from the key? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You get a buzz, but you won't have a headache the next day. A lot of people don't realize that 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 of winemakers add sugar to the winemaking process. And they can add up to 75 chemicals, which are really, really nasty, but they don't tell anyone on the ingredients. Um, so a traditional glass of wine will have three and a half grams of sugar. And this one has natural sugars of 0.3. Okay. There's Julio. Peru beef tripe soup is called cow cow. Nice. If it's done right, it's very tasty. Yeah, I mean, in Bulgaria, uh we eat uh, everything from the uh, animal, right? Well, as you should. Nose to tail, right? Nose to tail, yeah. What brand is our food processor? It's the uh, KitchenAid 7 Cup. But it actually it broke a little bit, so I don't love it. I would find a better one. Alabama Slammers here. Merry Christmas to all. We're making a Bulgarian Christmas Eve meal right now. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm going to pick up Johnny B around like 445 ish. Okay, Rose. Now we're going to see if you want to eat something here. A red pepper spray. Mm. Uh, now we're going to add. The flex seeds. We're gonna add. Looking good, Rusty. Looking good. Yeah, some honey. We're gonna add. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, let's add the flax seeds when we're here. Mm. See, the flax seeds have been sitting for about 20 minutes and they're nice and gelatinous. You really need that when you're making bread. You know, paleo bread or a bread that has no wheat because because you need you need a little bit of stretchiness and the flax seeds will provide that. Hey, Mandy. Yep. Uh, we'll do the uh, tablespoon of time. Okay, let's add the flax seeds. Mom, help me. Let's pour the flax seeds. Take the spoon. Oh, Lana, I put the link in the description box. Click that link; it gives you automatic this kind of chipping. It's called Seco Wine Club. Oh. They get the wine from Tuscany, and the guy in the stateside is Matt. Yeah. He's in. Uh, yeah, the eggs. How about let's put some honey in there? He's in San Diego. Yeah, let's put some honey. In but uh, the guy in Tuscany is a real deal. Where's the Cassie honey? Davis? Ten dollars. Merry Christmas from Thank Dallas. You. Merry Christmas to you, Cassie. Thank you for that nice super chat. Yeah, that's right, Betty. Uh, yeah, let's pour some. With that bottle of wine, only about twenty-two dollars. If you join the club, which you don't have to, it's even cheaper. Uh, it's really, really good stuff. Getting some honey. No, no, no. Here, it's a small honey. company. Try the honey. Uh, but I love them. Is it good? Mmm, yummy. Yeah, we, well, more honey. Okay. You gotta include Rose, right? Yeah. More fun. She's learning life skills. Mm -hmm. People love watching Rose cook. I mean, okay. we love cooking with her, so making the videos is great. Are oh, you reading the comments? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. I think you, you want some more honey, Mishka? Okay. the rose videos and maybe someone knows why like i post them on facebook because it seems better for short videos and the videos get millions of views which is great then i'll post them here and there on youtube and they'll get like a few views but 
they go viral on Facebook. I think because they have the share button. And on YouTube, it's just like, eh, it's okay. It's just so funny. I don't make it to get millions of views. We love sharing the content. That's what we do for a living. But um, it's just so funny on Facebook. They just take off. Yeah, check out my link down below, yeah, Rebecca. I think there's a free bottle of wine if you sign yeah, up for the club now, too. Yeah, the Horizon Organic isn't bad, but I prefer um, grass-fed milk from like, Maple Hill or Organic Valley. Yeah. Spooky, uh, oh, nice, uh, Bugman. Uh, that looks amazing. Uh, yeah, there's no difference between runny peanut butter, if it's uh, dry roasted or not. It's just yeah. making the consistency of that yeah, batch. Just cool. stir it up. Apple make sure the, uh, the oil is uh, incorporated. You have to buy 12 bottles to ship to Canada. 12 bottles is nothing, Jen. All right. You know, yeah, I would do it. And then we have an apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Welcome, Katie. And let's see this spaghetti on here. You're having a great Christmas, uh, David. Thank you so much. Just trying to clean while we cook here. This is vinegar, one. Yeah, Kim, we're making a traditional Eastern Orthodox you want to put it in? Christmas dinner, which means it's yeah. plant-based. So, in this big pot behind me, we have cabbage leaves just pour it that are filled with rice yeah. and vegetables. In the other pot, we have a bean Thank you. and pepper Thank you. stew. We made um, baba ganoush. Vinegar. Now, Desi's making uh, paleo bread, and we are going to make some Christmas dinner, too. That's kind of weird, right? Rose really wanted to oh, try wow. the vinegar. She wants to try it? She tried it. Oh, really? She's like, mmm. She loves sour food. Oh. No, she just wants to try oh, it. I'm watching right now. How about some more honey, eh? Rose, you're the best. More honey, okay. Yeah, but if you're going to drink wine, you might as well drink the best stuff that's actually not going to affect your body and give you a headache and be full just of chemicals more, and okay? sugar. Just a tiny bit more. But that's it, okay? That's it. Okay. Oh. Here. You know what we're thankful for most in 2020 is... You guys, I always call you guys the community. I never sure. call fans or whatever. Yeah. You're not fans, you're community members. And I got a chance to meet about 40 or so of you guys the last couple days because a bunch met us at the grocery store to scan products from the Bobby Approved app. And I feel like I know so many of you and a lot of you guys are new, you've been around. And I just feel like it's a great community. You're very supportive. You know, I try to make sure that I give you guys good content when I work with brand partners, I make sure they're Bobby approved and they're going to bring value in your life, like Thrive Market and Laird Superfood. Mm -hmm. If you ever see me like a typical influencer, just hocking goods for a paycheck, if I ever talk about like a Coca-Cola product, you have permission to punch me in the face, but I'm very excited to uh, see what happens next year. We have a big move to Florida. We have more stuff coming. The community is going to get bigger. Um, so thank you so much. Yeah, pa pasteurized grass fed milk is still fine. That's, that's all you can get at the grocery store. Yeah, uh, yeah Jeanette, search Flame City Dirty Dozen. Ooh, Betty just made your lemon olive oil there. Oh, how was it? We haven't had that one in a while. Actually. How was it? Since the cookbook. I want to know. Yeah, you want to pour that inside? Yeah, Re one? Rebecca, the app is a crazy undertaking, but when it's ready, it's going to be unlike anything out Here, there. Help me. Weight Watchers will tell you the points or whatever. You can scan anything at the grocery store, and it'll tell you if it's Bobby approved Oh, Weight or Watchers, not. the app costs a fortune also. Oh, Weight Watchers is like 25 bucks a month. Ours is 5 bucks a month. I don't believe in points and everything like that. I, I think that's bull crap. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. Because you can still eat crap mm -hmm. on Weight Watchers, and you might lose weight, but it's not proper for yeah, metabolic and then, They're purposes. not teaching you. Yeah. They don't teach you anything. You know what they're doing? They're making you reliant on their system. Yeah, it's exactly. like, oh, how many exactly. points? You don't know anything behind the points. You're just looking points up. Points meaning. Yeah, yeah, but it makes you reliant on their ecosystem. It's like, oh, this is under my points allowance. I can eat it. But you don't know why. You don't learn about ingredients, what it does to your body. Right, right, it's right. Just, it's actually brilliant marketing, but it's really bad for you. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, the dough. Look at this beautiful dough. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's right, bug man. Only the best for you, my man. Uh, Rose hasn't opened any put Christmas presents yet. We'll be doing some a little bit later on after dinner. Rose was wearing some adorable uh, Santa pajamas this morning on Instagram. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> nice thing. I know you're happy about that. Have you picked up any cool clients, Stangman? Yes, we are definitely moving to Florida. We're actually... We actually bought the property a lot in June. We didn't tell anyone. And then as soon as we broke ground this month, we told people. And the home will be ready in late summer, early fall. Almost done. We're, we're moving January 15th. We're renting a property to be there while our home is being built. So we're out of here in less than, I guess, like uh, three weeks or so. This is like a gelatinous dough. If anyone owns a car shipping service and wants to give me a good deal, can you email Bobby at Place City? And CC support at Flip City. Oh my God. God. Whoa, look at that. Stuff all over me. That's crazy. This is going to be our bread. Cray cray. Whoa. Katie Benson, $10. What's the base of Ethiopian food? Would you guys buy my vegan keto cinnamon roll recipe when I finish it? Ah, I love you guys. Thank you. I would love to try a vegan cinnamon roll. But it's still could have gluten. Vegan is made with, uh, with wheat, so anybody can do that. Not anybody, because a lot of people use butter or cream cheese. Well, still, it's easier. I'd like a paleo. How about you make paleo and then... Yeah. Dr. Gundry just approved organic canola oil. That's surprising. <laughs> if it is organic and expeller pressed, it is better than the alternative, but it's nowhere near as good as extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and virgin coconut oil. Canola oil is cheap. It's still processed mm -hmm. and it's heart inflammatory, which is why we're talking about inflammatory foods. You don't want that. Let's put the pit come on. Yep. Thank you, Viviana. Let's put the coin. Let's not forget. Oh, yeah, the coin. You gotta do the coin for good luck. Also, before we started, uh, Beth's mom FaceTimed us and uh, we had to pick our piece of uh, pumpkin dessert. And what happens in each piece, Ben? Fortune. There's a fortune for 2021 in each. And it's funny because everyone else in the family picked before us. And yet, I got a new house with a terrace. Rose got a new house with a pool and a garden. And Desi got good health. And I'm like, oh, how many new houses did you put in there? She's like, no. She's like, no one else got a house. It was just uh, those two. So it's like, yeah, we're, we're getting all those. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, the apps. We got a lot of stuff coming in 2021. The Bobby Approved app. Some new Flav City um, products. Uh, we're working on a keto lemonade right now with best in class ingredients. We might get into um, the food space. We're working on a cookware idea. Mommy's coming. You have flour all over your hair. Oh my gosh, look at Rose. Rose, look at, show us your face. There's flour in your hair. Are you baking? A big storm here, huh? Mwah. You're baking up a storm. We got a lot of good stuff. Look at this baker. More videos. Look at this more. baker. I'm not going to stop, y'all. We're going to put the pizza in here, Mama. Thank you, uh, Allison. I see you, Sammy boy. Oh, Rebecca. We better start cooking, Rebecca. You can put us on the side. What beans don't have to be organic? Zero. So even though beans are not on the dirty dozen list, conventional beans tend to store high in glyphosate. The same is true with wheat and oats. And that's because Roundup is so prevalent in farming. EWG, Environmental Working Group, has done many studies and they show and they find elevated levels of glyphosate in non-organic beans, wheat, and oats. And when I say that, you know, the Monsanto Here. farmers said they gang up on me, but it's true, which is why you want to buy organic. Here. Interesting. Sounds good, uh, Abraham. Wrap this thing. 
kind of nice doing dishes on a live stream because it keeps me company. <laughs> Shannon says she's snacking on Desi's keto crackers with goat cheese, losing a ton of weight and off prescription meds. Wow. Hey, that's what it's all about. It doesn't make the uh, pharmaceutical companies very happy. So when you go keto because of a health issue, you can't help but lose weight and get off of meds. You can't help it. And then if you want, you can slowly transition to more of a paleo diet. I also remember keto should be done clean. No palm oil, no veggie oil, none of that crap, right? There's a lot of a lot of keto is being ruined now with products that have palm oil and whatnot. You see like slim fast keto bombs. No, no, that's not for eating them. That's not for eating. That's not for eating. It's okay, don't pay attention to me. It's all good. No one pays attention to me anymore. It's all about rose. Alright, so we're putting we're putting we're putting a coin in the bread. Very traditional. Then later on we're gonna break the bread and whoever gets a piece with the coin is gonna have a lucky year ahead of them. Bobby has been known to get the coin many, 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 yeah. many years. So um, It'd be funny if Johnny P got it. The ninety year old man. <laughs> Thank you, uh Oso. Or else should get it. Sounds good, Deborah. So, Deborah, I don't believe in a 100% plant-based diet. Your body, I believe your body really needs certain minerals and vitamins that come from good quality animals, like wild-caught, grass-fed, pasture-raised. But you do you. What's the word? Rosita? What is the word, my sweet love, bud? A lot of people watch that... Uh, Documentary called like Game Changer. Ah, yeah, it's, 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 it's very misleading. Sounds a good one, female. I agree. <laughs> that was just, usually when YouTubers have kids in their videos, they are brats, but not Rosie. <laughs> you know why? Because the parents don't pay attention to. <laughs> That's a good point. Yes, so it's a lot of love. Please, please don't pull, Mama. Please don't pull because I, I have to make this bread. Oh. Ah, good question. What will I miss most about Chicago? I will miss the architecture, the city feel. I will miss uh, the uh, lake and like the river cruises and uh, the restaurants. I mean, amazing restaurants in Chicago. Amazing theater, not that anybody can go to a theater now, but amazing culture, cultural theater. Uh, you have the art museum, you have other museums, modern museum. It's just a lot of things to do here in the city. Um, and just a very diverse, very diverse culture and uh, people from all over the world. Always busy in Michigan Avenue. Just. Just a pleasure to walk around, go to the beach. The beach is very accessible um, in That's the city. I'm, it's a I'm very a livable energy. city, walkable city. Um, ne neighborhoods right in the heart of the city. Right. That's what I'll miss. So, Going outside and walking down a really yeah. cool city street with energy. Yeah. I'm not going to miss the food scene, architecture, just being in the vibe of the city, just walking outside. But I, to me, I'm over it. We've been no, here, I've been here 20 done. years. Almost I'm done. done. Almost done. Here. I'm ready for the Boca. Indeed. Del Boca Vista. And we're ready to retire. Retirement style. Yeah. Well, I've never worked harder in my life right now, but yes. Retirement style. But you know what I mean. Done. 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 Let's put now in the oven. Phase 2 of Del Boca Vista by uh, Morty uh, Seinfeld. And now we can make, we can make cookies, Rose. Cookie Monster. We don't stop. No. I think Viviana, you can get to Miami in about 45 to 55 minutes from Boca. Viviana, is Viviana in New York? Yeah. Perfect. Viv, you gotta get out of that city, huh? Yeah. Come, come down to Florida. I'm to Florida, Vivi. Maybe that'll entice Art to move even more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you move, maybe I will move. 
Yeah, I'll bet you that sounds perfect for the cast iron, for the pendulum. And remember to let it rest for about 20 minutes before slicing it. All right. Put it in the oven. Put it in the oven, Mom. Ah, I haven't thought about that. When you move to bulk, a live stream start an hour earlier. <laughs> uh, Lots of concerns. Wow, we already started them so early. They're going to be lunchtime live stream. All right, let's see how long we bake, Mishka. Yes, they will. Oh, okay, I got you. Let me see how long we bake. Uh, 35 minutes, that's it. That's not bad. There's a timer here for something? Oh. Uh, oh, that's for this thing. I don't know. Okay. So we got 35 minutes. Okay. Then we got to measure the temperature, internal temperature. My brother actually went to college in uh, at Miami, okay. University of Miami, now, Coral Gables. Huh? Ready? He went to Coral Gables, maybe? What's that? That's where Miami. Yes, yeah, in Coral Gables. Mm -hmm. That's where our publisher is. Mango yeah, yeah. Publisher. We'll finally go to uh, see them. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he comes with us, uh, Nicole. You guys got to hit him up on uh, Mama. Mama. DMs Mama. on Instagram. No, Art does not quite like us, but I think he's gotten better. He's really cut out a lot of junk. He runs a lot. So many people send me messages on Instagram like, is Art okay? He's so skinny. Is he sick? I'm like, he's fine. He's just running and taking care of business. Oh, I cleaned a lot. Huh? Okay. Okay, oh, then you get all these balls. These are pretty much good. Get him out of here. Give him the day. Give them to Dada. Yeah, Myra. Cooking and cleaning. I'm a modern day man. Ready? Once Ready? again, if you want to buy the Flip City condo, we're leaving on January 15th. Two bedroom with a parking spot. Beautiful upgrades. Email bobby at flavcity.com and cc support at flavecity.com, bobby at flavecity.com, cc support at flavecity, come buy the Flav City condo. That'd be kind of fun. I want to sell it to a fan, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, Mishka, now, let's see. I gotta bring more uh, paper. Myra wants to know, Desi, tu puedes hablar espanol? Desi speaks fantastic. Mine is very gringo style. Uh, I'm very good in, in la cocina. Yo hablo español muy bueno. Pero Desi, oh, claro que sí. Mucho mejor de mío. Rose, Rose, you're going to learn Spanish. You're going to learn Spanish in Florida. That'll be fun, right? It's like, ¿qué pasó, daddy? Yo quiero cocinar contigo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it'd be fun, right, Rosie? Yeah, Jen, you have your own cold water there. Another reason we're moving. Another reason we're moving. Oh my god. Just, just saying. Just saying. Pretty brutal. This condo has been very good to us. If you think about the amount of content we've created in this condo, two best-selling cookbooks, hundreds of YouTube videos, photos, websites, apps, I mean, it's crazy. Which begs the point that if you want to create something in 2020, in the 21st century, there's no barrier to entry. There's no excuses except yourself and your possible laziness. Learn on YouTube, search on Google, do it, put content out there, start your blog. You don't have to go out of lessons. You don't have to get excuses. Don't complain, blame, or justify. As Nike says, just do it. That's all I got to say. Bobby's turning into a preacher here. That's right, I'm, like Gary, I'm channeling my Gary Vee. Huh. Oh, okay, Gary Vee, yeah, he's great. Ah, dough, cookie dough. I mean, Find any that. single origin coffee, Abraham? But if you drink black oh, coffee, which I don't very often, Laird oh, has so functional oh, now we uh, coffee. So Laird and Four Sigmatic do functional coffee. This is their new coffee that's coming out next week. 
It's um, organic coffee with uh, mm -hmm. reishi mushrooms, mayataki mushrooms, olive leaf, olive, sure, olive leaf and 15% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin D. Really, 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 really good stuff. It, huh? Functional okay. coffee is the next yeah. big thing. I'll have promo code for that. Laird Here. is the best. Here, there's a little one. They actually invited me to like hang out with Laird in Hawaii mm -hmm. this winter, so that could be a fun trip. <laughs> crushing the cookie dough. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I can give you something else to eat, Mishka. That's right, I'm a preacher. Oh, that's the only one who could ever eat me. Was a son of a preacher, man, yes, he does. I'll preach all day to the to the members of the choir. Okay, no, no more, no more. No more. Uh -oh. Okay, Rose? Rose is no up more. to her, no more. her hijinks. No more. Oh, Your mommy has to make the cookies. Rostina. Can you help me? Well, can I hold you for a second, Rose? Can I hold you for a second? She's really into that. This is like even one. I can't make... Okay, you gotta move it. I gotta move it. Come here, come here. I got you. I got you, sweet. Let's watch Mommy together. Let's watch Mama. She's doing a quarter inch thick. Any video that Rose and I do where I have to roll out dough, we bring in the ringer, Desi, because I can't do it. Mommy will save you and a little dough. And these cookies, the thinner, the better. Than yeah. Are we doing the chocolate dip or not? Oh, yeah. We're doing that too? Oh, yeah. Rose, my, I know, but you're going to eat it, Rose. Look, you, Mishka, where, you, where did this form? Oh, my God, shapes. there's so much flour. Shapes. What shapes should we do, Mama? What shape do you want to do, Rose? Mm -hmm. Let's see what, what's going on here, Rose. Christmas tree. See this? Oh, nice. Sherry just got the new cookbook. Can't wait to, to uh, hear that. There, uh, is there butter in the cookies? <laughs> Yeah, of course. There. So, that part's not vegan. No, but dessert is okay. Because dessert... Of course, Nicole. Dessert, dessert you get for Christmas, you gotta make baklava. So, baklava has butter. But it, it doesn't really matter, you guys. It's, you know. So, traditionally, uh, traditionally if you want to keep it you know, butter-free, then you make tikvinik, which is the pumpkin dessert. You really want to get that. Give her like a little shit. I did. Gave off, her so much of right? <laughs> I know. Mommy's cutting out the Christmas trees. And where's that snowman? Maybe we can cut some. I feel like the snowman. No, man. Oh, well, I had it over here and you're like, oh, the snowman shape. Mmm, I do remember that conversation. Yeah. There it is. The one, $1 cookie cutter from Target. Oh, Rostina. Got my uh, Christmas Eve workout in at the gym this morning. That was nice. But no workout tomorrow. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. We gotta bake it, then you can eat it, huh? Yeah, bake and then eat. No, no, no. Why don't you, why don't you eat something else, Mishka? There's mm. yogurt in the fridge. There's... Um, Yogurt Bean, versus beans, cookie dough. The, uh -huh. You can eat some of the, uh, yeah, the uh, red pepper spread. I haven't showed you guys the uh, the bean stew back here. Oh, you want to try this? Here, let me show you something. This is the um, white bean and Bulgarian red pepper stew we did. I mean, it's kind of hard to see over there, but it's quite yummy. Now, Desi's mom actually takes the beans and stuffs them inside uh, the red peppers. That's so much work. It's so much work there. It's a baba kind of thing. Yeah, if baba has time to like stuff pepper salt. Yeah. I don't have time. She can do that when she comes over next year. Mm, so good. We pressure cooked the white beans with the dry peppers. Then we cooked them in the crusade with onions, garlic, parsley, dill, summer savory. Here we go, sweet. That's very hot. Summer savory and um, small paprika. Absolutely delicious. Wow. That's my kind of dish. Hearty and farty. Ugh. Yeah. Stew is perfect for today, Daviana. That's cold as can be. Mm -hmm. After these cookies, I'm done. Oh, good. I'm done with... Um... Fantastic. Have you seen the rolling pins that emboss the cookies? I have not. Yeah, I've seen those. I've seen those. She, she actually has in her Play-Doh too. Yeah. 
uh, this is the shampoo we use for Rose. We don't use conditioner. It's on Desi's uh, shop page. I'll put the link down below. It's amazon.com slash shop slash Desi underscore earth. Want some water? Earth Mama. Lavender, right? When we take the bath every night. We don't use conditioner. Uh, water for roasting. Where's our cup? Or here. Oh, here. Rose is getting heavy. Rose is getting close to 27 pounds. And she's 18 months plus a bit. There you go, sweetheart. Woo, lots of stuff on the ground here, Rose. What else we have to do after this? Yeah, there's a mess there. Nothing, babe. Nada? Let's clear out the island so we can put out all the dishes and everything. Exciting. And More cleaning up for us, right? Oh, Rustin. Uh, the Ezekiel cereal, if you eat grains, Mike, is the best in class cereal on the market. But I found a new one that I consider the best because there's no grains and it's actually, oh, here's the probiotic, uh, technically keto. This company and Thrive Market makes a version that I just ordered. This is Nuco Coconut Crunch. Oh, careful, Rose. Look at the ingredients here. It's oh, just that's for the rice. Uh, coconut rice. meat. <laughs> Rose is turning the camera. Coconut meat. Hold on, Rose. <laughs> coconut meat, coconut water, and that's palm starch. It's not palm oil. It's starch from palm tree. The net carbs are ten. It tastes like crispy coconut meat it's amazing it's a bit pricey but i did see that um thrive market has their own version this stuff's amazing when i want a little treat at night while watching some uh netflix or whatever and now we're watching a show called the wild um this is what i have on the bowl of this with some almond milk look at this try that rose crispy coconut meat it's phenomenal oh my gosh and they actually have flavored ones cocoa mango and there's no sugar. It's just real, uh, real mango, raw cacao, amazing stuff. Oh my gosh. I'll get a few off here. So good. You can get it on Amazon, I believe, but the Thrive Market one is cheaper and it's just as good from what I've heard. And I'll be getting that in the mail soon. Should I put you down for a second, Rose? Oh my God, you're heavy. Ah, oh, Rostina. My second workout for the day, Rose. Mm. Wanna go back up? Okay, I got you. I got you, Chefy. Whoopa! Oh! Yes? Few more cookies. Give her another piece of that cookies. cereal. Here's the probiotic. Oh, yeah. I found it. It's seed. seed. Oh, yeah. Very, very high quality. Uh, they call it a symbiotic. I'll give a review of that soon. They want to work with me, but I got to make sure my body handles it well. And, um, but I like it. But it's very high quality. I see a super chat from Taylor Jones. The $2 pound is that man in the black shirt called Ray Pest. I don't know that is. No, I'm Bobby, but thank you for the super chat. Desi's brother's in London right now. Is he stuck there because of the lockdown? Or I mean, he's celebrating Christmas, but I think they announced, I think today my mom said that uh, people in Bo uh, people that are Bulgarian can travel from London back, from the UK back. back. Is there a lot of Bulgarians there or something? Yeah. So, you can't keep people in a country. Well, that's stupid. Yeah. Well, I don't know, they're doing a lot of crazy stuff, but yeah, if you're like there for a holiday, you can't go home, that seems weird. What lotion do you use, Desi, for Rose? No lotion, guys. No, you use lotion at night on her skin. Oh, oh lotion, yeah, Earth Mama. Earth, Earth Mama, Mama lavender. lavender. Um, yeah, if you want to see all the stuff she uses, um, Medea, click the um, description box down below, and Desi's Amazon store has all of Rose's everything. Oh, I love it, <clears throat> Abraham. What wearable mic do you use? Oh, we're not using a wearable right now. We're using a Rode shotgun mic, but when I do wear a mic, it's Rode also. Rode makes really good stuff based out of uh, Australia. 
what she's I wouldn't about. say they're the best, but that's what we No, I didn't say the best. It's just good. And we film on we, iPhone. We have problems with their app and uh, True. Well, we film everything on iPhone. We used to use um, Canon for the cooking videos, and then I just stopped. There's no point. It's not worth overproducing it. iPhone for the win. iPhones are getting better and better and better oh, and better. It's amazing. It's so cool. Another reason, going back to my preaching earlier, not to delay and give excuses. You have an iPhone, you have a smartphone, while well, you have a camera. You have a recording device for a yeah. podca podcast. You have everything in a phone. Everything. I mean, literally, you can edit, you can post from there, you can. There's no excuses unless you want to be lazy or just complain. Okay. Mimi. I mean, Mimi. Mimi. Yeah. Me, 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 yeah, we, we started this me, channel while we both had full-time jobs, while we didn't even know where we're going with it, and I would have given up a long time ago, unless Bobby was so persistent, but it's because he was following his passion. That's why they call me Persistent Fresh. Here, I'll give you some here. Here, Mom. Uh, Myra wants to know the story of how we met. I think that's a good time for that, Jesse. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bobby oh, that can, story. Bobby yeah. can talk all day long. Give the story. No, not me. You go ahead. Baby. Me? I'll give you the abbreviated story. We met in 2008 in November at a Young Professionals event. I broke Number protocol more? and told Desi I want to take her to lunch the next day instead of waiting three days to call her. We had a great lunch. And then on that lunch, I set up plans for the second date. I cooked for her at my house, my uh, condo. And um, I made her a miso marinated cod with braised baby bok choy. We had dinner on the uh, terrace of the building while the sun was going down. And that was it. We got married a, less than a year and a half, or a year and a half later. Yeah. And that's it. When you know, you know, right? When you know, you know. And we waited. Uh, We're done with the dough. Ten years to the baby. You want dough? Okay. Don't dough. Here, 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 dough. Here. Yeah. Here, I'll give you. The funny thing is we waited, but we did so much in those 10 years. So people are like, oh, do you wish you had a baby earlier? No, because everything has a plan, right? There's always a path. During those 10 years, we traveled to 31 countries. We started Flake City. We did so much stuff, Jesse painted. Um, so no, I mean, everything works out. If I was sitting around eating Cheetos and watching Netflix all day, but yeah, well, that was just silly. But no, everything worked out great. And then God willing, we'll have another baby soon. Huh? You want a brother or sister, Rose? Either one, right? Yeah. You're good with either one. Me too. I don't care. Oh, so this, the timer went off oh, a while for this. ago, ah, so yes. I think it's done. I don't know nothing. I mean, it usually takes an hour, I think. Whoa, it's going out of control. I wouldn't say out of control. We have to sacrifice one. Yeah, well, first I'll just kill the heat, right? Let it sit. It's, it's done. We gotta sacrifice one. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Let's see what's happening with the Whoa, the bread is looking amazing. Ooh, it does look amazing. Put the coin in there? Yeah. Hey. Oh, the cookies we gotta put the cosmetic in the cookies, mama. In the cookies? That's impossible. They're so thin. But how do you pick a... You just put it under the cookies on the plate. You know? You can't put it in the cookie dough. It's a quarter inch thick. What the hell is this noise? I don't know. The neighbors probably pounding their head on the wall. Another thing we won't miss, hearing the neighbors do everything, yeah. and paper thin walls. Oh, well, well to sell, sell our house. Yes, yeah. not paper thin walls, but it's a condo building. You hear people, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this and that. Well, she's eating a lot of cookie dough there, so <laughs> right? She was, don't, don't, but still, don't, you want to buy our condo. Our, build, our unit is the hey, most upgraded. Living, the living in the city, you're going to hear stuff. The one thing is, like, we're right by Halstead, but actually, you, you can't hear anything. You don't hear any street very, noise. Very, yeah. quiet. You just very hear, like, quiet. a neighbor if they slam or whatever, you know. That's not that bad. I mean, you're living in the city. You have neighbors upstairs, downstairs. Yes. You should definitely buy our condo. Don't let that stop you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Sting, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so it's an interesting question. Any suggestions for high cholesterol in eggs? You want to give the spiel about cholesterol or should I? You have high cholesterol because you have inflammation because you're eating grains, processed oils, and sugars. 
cut that out and start eating eggs and meat and uh, you know only grass fed and pasture raised. Eat a keto and, diet. And watch your cholesterol go away. Yeah. <laughs> cholesterol is not a bad thing. Cholesterol. Uh, Dr. Berg has a great video about this. Cholesterol. <laughs> Cholesterol is a good thing. Its job in your body is to go to inflammatory sites and put out the fire. But if you're eating inflammatory foods all the time, there's fires constantly in your body, right? So cholesterol spikes because it's always working. The firefighters are out there. But if you cut inflammatory foods out of your diet, cholesterol goes down. So don't worry about these stupid drugs and statins. It's total BS in my opinion. Do an anti-inflammatory diet. Do clean keto with low to no dairy. Listen, you ate the whole cookie. The doctors That's aren't going to tell you this. They'll just give you drugs because there's no money in curing you. There's money in treating you. So you continue to take that. That's my view. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. More storage space. So we're looking forward to that too. So fun to clean on live stream. I should do more live stream, just cleaning. You guys make it go by so quick. Rostina, my sweet love. Ah! What's this joke? Thank you. Let's put the bowl away right here, Rose. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, the new so house fun. have a grill. What do you guys think? The new house is gonna have a 18 foot outdoor kitchen. So we'll have two kinds of grills. I have to uh, talk to Stingman about it. We'll have a built-in gas grill, and we'll have probably like um, a pellet grill, and maybe even a smoker. Oh, we have to actually drain. Uh, we have to sacrifice this and drain. Okay, drain, drain it. Uh, we'll have an outdoor burner or two built-in burners, maybe even like a little wood, uh, gas fire pizza oven. And um, very excited, very excited. Remember, I told you guys make a list. Keep adding to that. I told you we do it. Yeah, rule number one, never walk away from a gas grill. That grill was cursed, bro. It was cursed. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta get the old dustpan, Roasty. Is this for Roasty stickers? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's see the rice here. I'm oh. opening one of the oh, get it. rolls. Sacrificial lamb rolls. This is the mm. way we roll. We so, roll. You're not draining it. Drain it? Okay. Let me... Uh, Okay, this is tricky because it's very hot. The burn's getting much better though, right? That's from the grill. For me, actually, not the fire, when I pulled the grill away from the wooden um, railings on the uh, balcony, I tipped it too hard and it started falling towards me and the grate hit my leg. Thank God I was wearing pants and shoes and it touched the mm -hmm. side of my uh, thing here, which actually I want to... The are the one you... Thank you, Brad. I've been using... This is active skin repair. I've been doing this, but mainly I'm doing... Uh, Grandma Donnie's remedy for um, egg whites and cabbage. Wow, this is delicious, man. Is it good? Oh my Boom, God. Boom, goes so the dynamite. I'm gonna give a roast some with yogurt. Do it too, it, my more. Mmm, bro, you're gonna love this new counter. I like it. I love it. I want some more okay, of it. Let's not pour the liquid. Let's make a sauce. So much work. Oh, it's gonna be so good, babe. What are you doing with the sauce? Do the same kind of gravy kind of sauce like last time. We're gonna add some yogurt to it, it's gonna be delicious. So, that would be tapioca with avocado oil since it's vegan. Add uh, the sauce, season it with salt and pepper, and mm. add some yogurt, some plant-based yogurt. All right, we'll do it. It's the holidays, why not? It's the holiday season. So Ooh, uh, seasoning's on point roast. Yeah, thanks, babe. Ooh, you, you, you made it. Ooh, doggy roast. Let's pour the, the thing in a, in a bowl or something, or in a pot. Okay, um, yeah, let's pour it. Whichever in. pot you're going to We need probably like, a couple uh, cups. So I can't pour it in the same pot. You know, we're better off pouring it in a measuring cup, the big one. That'll make it easier for me. Ooh, wow. It's the holiday season. Santa Claus is coming. Mm -hmm. Try it. Hey, I'll be coming down the chimney. So good. Oh, uh, Victor, all the stores are within 15 minutes, including Publix and Sprouts Farmer's Market. So I just want to pour two cups of that here. So no, like no, no, hold no. this no, no, like no. this. I'm making my gloves, so I'm not using You that. get the gloves. Okay. 
Is that good, Russ? Yeah, right? That's proper. It's the first time she's had white rice, I think, ever, no? No. No? Many times. White rice? Mm -hmm. With what? With other things. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to hold on to it. Sure. Okay. Let me just get a couple. Oh, it smells good. It smells like nice and pickled. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. do much more liquid than that. But I, I need all, everything. All the liquids wanna, come out. Okay, I just want to first remove this. Why? Make more sauce. Okay, that's almost two cups. I don't know why you're removing them. Okay. Boss lady says, get it back in there. <laughs> you got the best tape falls out. What the? No, I'm just going to pour it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Careful, Karen. I'm holding it. That's good enough, huh? No, no, no. I don't want the rice to get mushy then. We don't want mushy rice. No, I like whole foods better than sprouts. Nice, Rebecca. I thought okay. Bobby's multitasking and reading all the comments. <laughs> I don't want to ignore you guys. Your family. Okay, these turn out great, babe. Fantastic. Okay. Mm, no, sauce is going to be so yummy. The sauce is the mm. mouse. Okay, first I want to just uh, clean the floor here. It's pretty okay. tragic down here. How yummy is this love? Oh my god, so good. That's comfort, dude. That is so good. Rose, Rose Grandma Donnie mm. would be so happy. Mm -hmm. Grandma. I love oh. eating these with uh, yogurt. Can you uh, step away from the counter, lady? Please, step away with, with the baby. Pull the baby, please, ma'am. The baby? Pull the baby. Okay, baby. Come here, Mishka. There's stickers on the floor, too, Rose. My goodness. <laughs> wow, and the bread is coming off. The bread actually See, smells the bread, phenomenal. The bread, the bread is not uh, vegan, but I don't want to use wheat. So that's what we're doing. It's not vegan because of what? Because the eggs in there. Oh, yeah. I guess I can make the whole thing with like flax eggs, but nah. it's gonna be pretty gross, I think. Not worth it. More yogurt? Okay. Not worth it, my dear. All right, now I can start setting up the table. Setting up the. We don't have a table. Setting the table, setting the counter, you guys. We don't have a dining room table yet. The people who have uh, who cook all the time have no dining room table. It's because we used to have one over there. But we never used it, so we turned it into the uh, the office over there. We have two standing desks side by side. Mm -hmm. Right? So, this over here used to be our dining room table. But we noticed that, by the way, this art, so that's all from Desi. That's Desi's brother. And that's Desi over there. So, we used to have a table there, but no one ever used it, right? So, now we have two standing desks there, and those computers are worked on every single day. Seven days a week. Okay. Oh. Wow. So good. Rosie, can I have some yogurt, Mama? Can you open the yogurt for me? Can I just put this down real quick? Yeah. That's the uh, cashew. Thank you. Cashew sour cream, actually, from Forger. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Because Desi loves tangy. It reminds her of. Uh, Bulgarian, Bulgarian yogurt. yogurt. I mean, I, I grew up with Bulgarian yogurt. When I was little, I don't know, when I was maybe like in kindergarten, I wouldn't get up or open my <laughs> eyes in the morning until my mom handed me a cup of warmed yogurt with some honey in it. Like I would, I would refuse to open my eyes before I had that. Yeah, a little sugar and a creamy yogurt. I bet it tasted really good. Mm. Okie dokie. So, I'll leave that for the time. When should I get done? Not, not quite yet. Mm. Not yet. Okay. Let's work on. Uh, we gotta. Mm, you. We gotta see if the bread. Um, the internal temperature of the bread actually. Yeah, 
It should be 200 degrees when it's yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. Let's you, try. I think it might be ready. You think it's ready already? Right? Yeah. That was quick. 425, babe. Let's see. Can you freeze one? I can do it. I can poke it. Pokey bear. Mm. I'm getting all tired from all this cleaning. <laughs> ah, we're going to be so tired at the end of this day. I haven't actually eaten that much today. Why are you not eating? I'm, I'm snacking as I go because I'm oh. so hungry. I know, but I just want to sit down and have a big meal. Yeah, I feel like I fill up on the beans and whatnot. Then you want to eat? No, I want to eat later on. Yeah, but I just I can't. Have well, it. I understand. I feel your pain. Rose is loving it. Hi, Rose. Yeah, it's like good. Oh yeah, okay. Oh my God. Oh, hey, oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh, stop! 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 Babe, put it in, babe. Hold on. Wow, this bread looks amazing. I'm a souffle, don't worry about it. It's not gonna mm. And we're not there yet. 175. Oh, okay. I'm gonna set a temperature alarm for 200. And that way we won't miss it. Right, perfect. Okay. It'll make a noise at 200 like it did before. Okay, um. Mmm. So good. You wanna make the sauce, right? Yeah. Okay. For that. Maybe with some lemon meat sauce. I don't know if we'll need it because there's so many acidic flavors in here already. Oh, yeah, that's really some. Oh, uh, more money here. So for that, I need four tablespoons of oil and four tablespoons of tapioca starch. Because I'll use two cups of cooking liquid. Okay. There's two tablespoons per cup. So, we bought all these tablespoon measures. Are they all dirty? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Mmm, so good. Oh, you got some um, cabbage in there? Choo choo choo. You okay? Choo choo choo. Or you can have a sip of water if you want. I'm running low on avocado oil. I gotta get some more Costco. I have my back up here. What are you? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Touch more. Right, four tablespoons of. Uh, well, normally I'd use butter, but we're doing tea again. And then, can you measure four tablespoons of tapioca? It's right there on the Oh, yeah. Into the... I mean, That's just going to be a quarter cup, so I can just scoop a quarter cup in there. I'm going to need you to uh, whisk this, though, constantly, okay? Okay. It's just like making a roux. Wow, it's really cold in Chicago today. Yeah. Was it Yesterday was 50. <laughs> today is... So cold. 19. All right, here you go, babe. Just give that a whisk. And when it gets to like uh, light brown, give me a holler. Holler back, girl. Okay. Do you mind wiping the counter? This counter? Yeah. Yeah. This is our dining room. I'll use more than that. Table. I didn't try any. Want to give Daddy a bite? What else can we put in? That is good, Rosteen. Thank you. Put in the work? What else can we put in this room? That's it. Do that with the liquid. Maybe lemon juice, salt, pepper. Uh, maybe a touch of nutmeg. And then the. You're gonna put in the um, yogurt too, or no? Uh, maybe. Okay. Careful. Ooh, why is there water coming out of the matchbook? Yeah, I think she spilled some water. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Sitting in water here. It's not good for business. 
Rosie's very festive. She's got her Christmas outfit on, her green apron, a red bow, and a Christmas bow over here. Yeah, red bow. So pretty. Shushka, you've been cooking all day with us, Anna. You've been cooking all day with us. You made so many things, huh? Oh. Christmas Eve. Are you waiting for Santa? Are you waiting for Santa? Yes, you are. Santa has got lots of gifts for you, Mishka. Oh, you want to get down? Okay. Okay. Daddy will show you how to get down. Can you show her, like, turn her, turn her butt towards the exit and then let her climb down? Here, Rose. Turn, turn your butt towards here. Turn around. Okay, stop. Okay. No. Duck down. Duck down. down. Come down low. Go down? Yeah. <laughs> Come down here. Rose. Squat down. Come down like this. Put your head down. Put your head down here. <laughs> you look really cute right now, Rose. You got the rice in your eye. Here, Rose. Squat down like this. Go like this. Come down. <laughs> Very hard to explain. <laughs> Can you squat down? Squat up to 100 degrees. Oh, I got a yang di. Oh. Bread out. Hold on. The bread is I've ready. I've been called away from her work, Rose. I've been called away. Rose, watch this. Hey, now you're doing it. Okay, wait for Daddy now, please. Okay. Wow, guys. You gotta. See, you have to see this bread. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. wow. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, wow, wow. Look at that. It smells so good. Paleo pizza. Wow, this is better than last year's. Yeah, what temperature for the uh, cookies? 320. Ooh, gotta keep it open for a minute. I'm gonna keep Rose up there for a second. Yeah. Let's warm up this house. Yeah, we, we needed it actually. This got was thicker and now it got very liquid. Really? Yeah. Oh, worry, it's still wet to me. Yeah, no, when you have the uh, water, it's gonna get all yeah, wet. Yeah, totally. Totally, Rose Team. Why do you think it has to get brown? You activate the thickening power. The darker a roux gets, the more thick it'll be. It's exactly right. That's exactly what we did for uh, Thanksgiving. Papa, sorry. Are you cleaning all the woodies? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, baby. Well, wow, wow, wee wow. Are you saying wow, wow, wee wow, Rose? Yeah. Right? All right. Okay. Whoa. Okay, Rose King. Want to come down now? Let me help you. No, you want to stay there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sushka! Sushka! Can we use this for our dinner? Yeah. Cool. I, think, I think we can add, but babe, you don't, it doesn't have to get brown. No, if you, if you, if you add it, you can cook it for over five minutes. Already. All you need to do is cook it down. It's got to get a little more color in there. I do. Cook it for one more minute. It doesn't get cold. Last time I used butter, but it shouldn't matter. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> the cookie we're gonna bake and then we're gonna have it, yeah? Yeah. Sushka. <laughs> smelling very kind of. Oh, oh, the oil smelling like. The avocado oil? Well, we can use butter if you want. Butter is better for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's smelling like uh, fried oil or something. Fried oil? That's his veto, I guess. Okay. Hey! Oh, that's good. Yeah, Yes, love. Do you like this? Radiant. Sparkly. Sparkles. 
Rose is always the star of the show. I agree. That's what everyone says on Facebook now for the videos. They're like, I came for Bobby, but now I'm here for Rose. I'm old news. I don't blame you. Yeah, if you want to make something like the cabbage rolls that we did, search Flav City Stuffed Cabbage on Google. It's a very old recipe, but it's really good. We actually did it for um, October Festival. Oh, my goodness. Fingerprints all over my fridge. From roasting or me? I'm guessing these are from you. <laughs> yes, if you buy the Flav City condo, you get the brand new uh, uh, black stainless steel KitchenAid appliances with the smart oven. So if you want to buy our condo, we're moving out on January 15th. Email me, bobby at flavcity.com, and cc desi, which is support at flavcity.com, right? Someone could buy our condo, Rose. Baby. Your favorite butter. Butter. Yeah, Rustine loves her butter. Butter. It's kind of tough for me to measure four tablespoons of this one. <laughs> dough. <laughs> she wants dough. She wants dough? Dough. She sees the cookie dough and says, dough. <laughs> Just throw an eyeball at it. Yeah, that's about right. Want some butter in it? Yeah. No, here's the butter. Do we have more arrowroot or do? Right? Yeah. More butter? <laughs> okay. Um. More butter. Let's go read some comments, huh? No, no, yeah, I need your help, though. I don't think there's four tablespoons in here. Where's that box of arrowroot? Stretch your legs, Rose. You've been standing and eating for a long time. Yeah. Go stretch your legs, roll around on the floor. Yeah. Roll around on the floor. Go play, Mom. Go play. This is, this is an error. Can I just mix these two? The tapioca and the error, or no? I think it's, they're mixed already. Oh. What are they doing on the floor? Yeah, I know. What are they doing on the floor? There's stickers on the floor, Rosina. You think that one's pulled down or not? I think so. Oh, let's throw these cookies in there. Yeah, man, girls. Because we have to, like, put chocolate on them and everything. Woo! So we got cookies to decorate, y'all. Shortbread chocolate cookies. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Okay, let's whisk in the arrow right now. This time it's going to work a lot better with the batter. Careful, Rose. She's sliding her way towards you. Alright, can you use a stir Mom? Uh, I gotta put a timer on, hold on. Timer! 13 minutes, right? Or 18 minutes. Was it? How many minutes? Yeah, I think it was 18 minutes. Um, <laughs> hey, Rosie. 18 to 25. If you want to make the shortbread cookies, they're amazing. Search Flav City Shortbread on uh, Google. They're on flavcity.com. And just whisk this for me. Sure. Thank you, sweetie. This is Rosie's new favorite thing. Just You can't see it. She just rolls around the floor. Huh? You rolling on the floor like a little piggy? Huh? It's going to turn brown from the butter now, not from... Yeah, but I'll, I mean, the roux should turn brown and cook anyway, but I guess with the avocado oil, maybe it doesn't. No, I think it got weird. It should, as you know, right? If you make a roux with, like, oil, it should it should also brown, shouldn't it? Yeah, but flour, and flour will brown. That starch is not... Oh, yeah, the, oil, yeah, the tapioca starch won't brown as much as wheat. It's trench, roll around. Stretch, 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 stretch. Yeah, do a yoga pose. Yeah. <laughs> Who's rolling around there, huh? Are you taking a little break? Yoga? Can you show us cloud pose? 
Can you show me cloud? Uh huh. Oh, oh butterfly. Oh, oh butterfly. butterfly. Good. Now go on your back rows and do cloud where you hold your feet. Huh? <laughs> right there by the broom, though, yeah? Yeah, by your Swiffer. Yeah, that's my Instant Pot. Why don't you grab your Swiffer and help me clean? Hmm? There you go. Hey! Yeah, you can scan products anywhere in the USA. Hey, Rosie! Oh, no, I'm back to Rosie. <laughs> oh, Rosine. You crack me and mommy up, sweet. Such a sweetheart you are. Okay. How's it looking there, mom? I think it's time to add whatever else you're There's right. no color in here, sweetie. Oh, here, it's starting, man. Yeah, I keep it. You don't have to whisk that much, but yeah, we need color, otherwise it won't thicken. <laughs> <laughs> stretch, mom, stretch. No angel. No angel. There's more food on the floor again, Rosa. <laughs> I just did everything here, Rosa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, Rosa. <laughs> yeah, bring it out. The dust pan again, Rosa. Here, come on. And I got. Just a wet Swiffer here because there's some nasty stuff caked on the floor. Mm -hmm. See how good I take care of the condo, you guys? Rest rest safely knowing you're, bu you're buying a great condo if you want to get the Flav City condo. Okay, let's throw this away and then just Swiffer it up a little bit. Okay, one second. Okay, add out two cups of the uh, thing slowly. How many cups do I have? Oh, I got like. Just, just add two. Okay. You can add more later on if you can handle it. Kind of thicken it. If the sauce gets too thick, you can add more uh, juice. But if you add too much now and there's not enough thickening power in the room, then there's nothing you can do. No, there, no. There, yeah, keep it, yeah. Do it all. Go, 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 go. Do it all. Just keep whisking at it all. That's perfect. Perfection, right, Rosie? Mm -hmm. liquid too quickly to a root, it'll get clumpy, but you can just slowly whisk them out. No, that ain't slow when it got clumpy. Well, you have to stir very aggressively. Be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Right, Rose? talking Chris. Oh, see, it's perfect now. Eh. You can strain it. Okay. You can strain it. If it's a little clumpy, you can always strain it. Right, there's a will, there's a way. Right, Rose? Can I have that, Rose? I'll put it away.
Yeah, you hit Danny on the head. You got me in the head, Rosie. It's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Woo. Let me call it Johnny P. Let me tell him I'll be there pretty soon. And then you gotta add salt and pepper now? A little pinch of salt and pepper? No, why don't you do this? I got I got some things to do. Ooh, okay. Oh. We got some things to put out. Pickles. Careful. Sauerkraut. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hi. I'll leave here pretty soon, okay? No, I'm still cooking right now, but I'll be done here in like, uh, I'll, take, I'll leave here in about 20 minutes. I'll call you before I leave. Okay? 20 more minutes? Yeah, I'll leave here in about 20 minutes, but I'll call you before I leave. All right, fine. Okay. Bye. Oh, thank you, Mark. Time. Oh, we got a melted chocolate. The sauce tastes great. It just needs seasoning. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's your roast, Dan. Can you close it? Can you? Dirty roast. Dirty. Okay, Mitch. Let's bring a couple more things, Mama. <laughs> you want to play. You want to play, play, play. Play all day. You want to play, play, I don't blame play. her, Rose. Play all day. Play, play, play. We're gonna bring play Grandma here, Rose, next month. Bring in the reinforcements. Play, 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 play. Can't wait for Grandma to come and help us for a while. Let's we'll keep her here all year, but how about that? Never let her go home. Grandma's gonna stay here forever. Do you want to stir in um what? Some uh Did you want to stir in some uh, yogurt you said or no? Uh, no, I guess leave it so. Okay. Let me do this. Looking for a small measuring cup here. So there's a few clumps in here. Not a big deal. What I want to do is just take a sieve and just strain out the lumps and clumps. And then finish with seasoning. I'm gonna throw some fresh herbs in here. All right. This way it'll be really silky and smooth. Now we're still working on art. He hasn't given us a, a decision yet. Oh, nice, Dirk. It just hit 40,000 Flav City Community Facebook page. Awesome. Oh, Good thing keeping an eye on that. And well, Dirk's an admin, administer now, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so on Facebook, if you search Flav City Group, I started this group this year. I never advertise it or anything. It's really just for fans. I'll pop in there once in a while. We have 40,000 members, and it's really just a really great place, and a lot of people don't know about it. So if you want to join it, a lot of people post questions and this and that or share milestones and then I'll pop in there once in a while, leave comments, whatnot. Um, that's on there. And if you don't know, we have a Facebook page too called Flav City. It's got over a million followers. We post all the, the rows and those cooking videos on there. Oh wow, it's really thin. I'm gonna add the extra um, Juice over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see Dirk on Saturday. He's coming down to help us scan at Mariano's. We're doing another scanning party. We got like 13 or 14 people signed up, which is good because Mariano's is huge. We're building the database for the Flav City app. It's going to be great, grand, wonderful. Maybe we should stir in some of that. Uh, 
scoop that yogurt again. Sure, man. I got a nice one now. Stay luck. Hey, you cute thing. A little bit of that cashew sour cream to give it a tang and some creaminess. Hey, Dee, yesterday at the scanning party, we had a young couple from Green Bay that drove down. They drove four hours to join us. Uh, and it's nice because I uh, bring a, a Flav City goodie bag for everyone. And I gave them some extra stuff. I gave them some like protein powder and some collagen. I got sauces. I got drinks, echo wine and everything. It's, re it's really, really fun. Right, let me check this for saison. I have to reheat it before we serve it. Here. Gelatinous. Oh, the flavor is really good. Mm, yeah, nice. Thank you. That flavor is good. Do you like the texture or not really? It's a little weird. Might have put a little too much tapioca on there. It's a little weird. It's tough to uh, get the. After I made all that, oh my god. You just ran me around like a horse, lady. That's his videoing the, uh, the sauce. <laughs> the one you made for uh, the turkey. No, it was, was the same. It just it was the same. I think. Mm. Want a pickle, Mishko? Want a pickle? No, you don't want it. Okay. I'll have. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done more dishwashing nice. than cooking today. Oh, Susan, don't move, Mama. Oh, we're shaking the key. Ooh, I'm really tired. You are? Yeah. Yes, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, you, you have not had anything to eat, babe. All I had this morning was. You refused to eat. The protein smoothie. Doesn't maybe little uh, uh, lemon juice this thing? I already put lemon juice. You did? Yeah. It's okay, you don't like it. It's gonna hurt my feelings. Careful, Russell. Careful. You want to go in there? Here. I love those Bobby's pickles. Can you put this back up there, please? Yeah, that's my meat mallet. I want to pound out chicken breast or something. She was playing with it the other day. Watch it. Yeah, that's a taco holder. Ooh, cookie starting to smell good. Mm -hmm. You put it back right there. Yeah. Yeah, put it back in there, Rosie. Yeah. What is Marie Kondo doing right now? Yeah, it's a cold one today. Hey, okay. We're gonna need everyone's help packing for Florida, Viviana. Be, now she's unpacking. Ah, right, actually not, bro. No more cleaning. All right. Rusty, that's enough. That's enough, come on, mama. No, let's put it in. What else has to be done? Is that it? That's it. I'm just gonna make some uh, chocolate. I don't know. It's like. Do we need to melt the chocolate in the cookies? I don't even think we need it. The shortbread cookies are so good on their own. No, I like them in ch with chocolate. Well, it's just a double boiler, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. You, a little of you. Could actually even use the. Uh, Nice. A little few jams. Oh, mm. Some Costco's in the Northeast have the big bags of uh, Q Paleo chocolate gems, which are like uh, these really big chocolate chips. They're amazing. Best deal ever. Do we need the butter out here or not? Done. 
Are you pounding the table or do you want to go back up? Play mom on the floor a little bit because you just... Uh, I have to close it, Rose. I gotta close it. I gotta close it, sweetie. Uh huh. You wanna go back up? Okay. Your wish is my command, Rose. Do it again. Show me. You want to try climbing up yourself? Yeah, go up and put your head under here. Put your head through here. Yep. Now climb. Climb up. Yeah, here, let me help you. Come on. There's yeah. nothing up here, Mom. I'm going to take a break now. Oh, you can take a break from Mom. There's, not, there's nothing here. Who? Don't take a break and leave this by itself, sweetie. This, well, this technically isn't a double boiler sitting in water. It's fine. It's going to work for my purposes. Okay, if it boils, it's going to scorch the chocolate. Oh, Daddy needs food, Rose. I'm on fumes. Let's see, do we have any nice napkins in here? We got some brownie. Do we have any nice napkins? Oh, timer for the cookies. I need a couple more minutes. Are you sure? Yeah, I usually actually took two more minutes. Okay. That was pretty good, huh? Yeah, do we have any nice napkins, Mama? Oh, got me some Costco toilet paper out there. Uh, I got some Christmas stuff. Look, ah, that works. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Oh, Rosie, please, Mama. Easy, girl. Give Rose her nana. Yeah, exactly, Sonali. Ooh, a Bobby approved horseradish sauce. You got to make your own. Search Flav City Prime Rib, and I believe I have a horseradish sauce Any with that. <laughs> How much longer gonna be live? I think I might cut it when I have to go pick up John pretty soon. Unless you wanna man no, the fort. Okay. Oh man. All right. So should I get John now or what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. We've been on for how long? Let me see here. We have been Two on hours. for more. Two hours and 17 minutes. What you do? Just. <laughs> Rose. Okay, Rose, say goodbye to everyone. Merry Christmas. Awesome time. Thank you for spending Christmas Eve with us, making our Merry meal. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, we'll be back actually Sunday morning. We're doing a Thread Market uh, breakfast with Bobby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back Sunday morning making a healthy breakfast with Rosie the Toasty and myself. Um, that's it. All right, guys. Uh, awesome time hanging out. I hope you have a lovely Christmas Eve, Christmas day tomorrow. I hope Santa is great to all the naughty, hopefully nice people out there. Uh, we'll be back very soon. But for Roasty the Toasty, Mommy and Daddy, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love, love and, and peace. peace. Bye. Bye. One more wave, Rosie. Bye. Let's finish on the Roastinator. <laughs> Oh, look at that, put them. Bye, Rose. We love you. We love you. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Bye, guys.